I bet you guys have seen the lane more. Everybody yeah. see the lane more? So, front end lane misses are the easier ones to see where the head goes up and down. If you think about when you have a sore leg, you're, you know, kind of limping along like that, your head goes down when your good leg's on there because you don't want to put as much weight on the bad leg as the good leg, so you limp along like this. Horses do the same thing, same stuff. So my rule of thumb, my little mo momism, we'll call it, because my mom's a, a trainer and I have all these little tidbits I've had from her over the years, is down on the sound. What that means is when a horse is trotting, sometimes you can see it as a walk depending on the degree of lameness, but typically we look at them at the trot, is when their good leg is on the ground, their head goes down. So down on the sound, does that make yes. sense to everybody? And we'll get into the high limb which are difficult even for, for us a lot of times. So can you just try, so you can walk them down, maybe try them back? So what, we're just going to walk them down. It's easiest to see uh, front end lamenesses when they're coming towards you. So you guys are going to we'll watch him go. I'm going to let you guys see which leg you guys think it is, and then I'll see if I agree with you. I have Mike try to cross this one back. That's a good front end lane mix. <laughs> That's perfect. That's a good choice. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Down on the sound, which leg is pretty? The left leg? See, you guys are just, you're already ready for that. Perfect. She put her head down when her right leg was on the ground, and she used her left leg. So, if I see this, if this was my horse, you know, my horse is playing, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the leg. They can be sore from wounds, they can pull tendons, they can fracture bones, which gets really scary. So some of the things I'll do, and of course, always be careful, because a horse that has a hurt leg will sometimes not really appreciate you poking and prodding at it, too. So I'll look at it. Look and see if it looks swollen. Compare it to the other front leg. See if there's anything like that. Put this down. I'm not going to let you on. And then I'll put my hands on it. I'll just go down the leg. Look for any wounds or anything like that. Feel for any heat or swelling. Heat, pain, swelling are all signs of inflammation. Most likely the area that's causing you know, pain and just the lameness in the horn. Tendons for horses run down the back. You can put your hands down there. You can feel. Feel down to the foot. Obviously, with the hook, you can't really feel all the structures that are in there. Lamenesses related to abscesses and bruising of their sole are very, very common in horses, especially in the front end, and can cause some pretty significant lameness. A lot of times horses will come into the clinic that have a very, very severe lameness where our two choices that what we think is going on could be a foot abscess, could be a broken bone. It gets to be that extreme. So that what happens with foot abscess? Has anybody heard of foot abscesses with horses? So what happens with that hook? That is a solid piece of tissue. It can't flex, it can't expand with what's going on with the foot. You have a little pocket of plaster with an abscess in there that's growing and expanding. It causes a lot of pressure, and you have very, very sensitive tissue in that foot. And so that can be really painful for a horse, and it's almost fracture pain for some of them. So, a good thing to keep an eye on. Um, there's a whole, I could do another two hours on foot care, so we won't get too far into that, but that's one thing to be looking at. Cleaning your horse's foot out is another good thing. See if there's any rocks stuck in there. See if there are any abscesses that look like they're draining. Usually it's kind of a black-like substance that comes out from foot abscesses that have opened up.